Welcome to the Florida College Access Network 2020 Workforce Education Innovator Awards. Each year, FCAN recognizes college and career professionals who go the extra mile working tirelessly to support students in building brighter futures utilizing innovative strategies. FCAN is so pleased to honor Michelle Horton, Director of Complete Florida, as a 2020 Workforce Education Innovator. As head of Complete Florida, Michelle is committed to serving the unique needs of adult students who are looking to finish their credential that enables them to advance in their career or enter in-demand industries like healthcare, business, or IT. Keys to student success through Complete Florida is the individualized coaching services students receive that include career planning, finding the right higher education institution for the students' unique needs, and financial support. More recent innovations include strategies to scale outreach to adult learners and expand education and business partnerships. Michelle pursued grant opportunities to scale equity and accessibility and award grants to partner institutions who develop and expand open educational resources, improving affordability for students. All of these efforts have led to awarding 1.8 million in scholarships so that over a thousand adult students could return to college and complete their degree. The individualized coaching raised student retention rates to 70% between the 17 and 18 and 18 and 19 school years. The number of universities and colleges partnering with Complete Florida expanded from 15 to 20, resulting in the ability to offer access to more than 200 fully online degree programs that their students can choose from. Michelle tirelessly promotes and advocates on behalf of returning adult students and their unique needs, and for that, FCAN is thrilled to honor her as a 2020 Workforce Education Innovator. Congratulations, Michelle. Thank you so much. It's so great to have you here. As, as you know, our adult students have unique needs and Complete Florida really has been at the forefront of helping them achieve their goals. You know, one of the challenges in serving adult learners is they have busy lives. They have a lot of things competing for their time, whether it's family obligations, work and community roles. Um, so how has Complete Florida been so successful keeping these students on track and coming back to finish their degree? Well, you're absolutely right, Kathy. They are very busy. And the, the biggest thing is that we do not work alone. We have lots of partnerships that really help us meet people where they are. The foundation of our work really is coaching. And our coaching model is designed so that we continue to conduct outreach and continue to nudge people along all the way. The Graduate Network is one of those national collaborators that we work with, and their research has shown that it'll sometimes take 14 high-quality engagements uh, before an adult learner will actually make the decision. So we know that upon the first invite to come back to college, it probably isn't going to happen right away. It's probably going to happen after um, a lots of consideration, lots of opportunity to do some research, but our coaching model kind of takes the lift off some of those retur working returning adult learners so that they can focus on their lives while we're conducting some research and helping them design a path that best meets their needs. Yeah, yeah. And, and when I think about the impact of helping adult learners return to college to complete a credential, it's not only important for them, but it really is important for, for all of Florida. So can you share a little bit about why, why should, across Florida, why should we all be working together to help adult students return and complete their credential? Well, not only is it good for students, for Floridians and their families in particular, um, but it's good for our economy. It's good for us to develop a strong talent pipeline to bring more business and industry into our area. Um, it's, it's good to help multi-generational families find the careers that will help them move forward. And um, the, the other really important factor is the governor has set a, a 2030 goal of 60% of attainment in the state of Florida. 
And we can't do that without returning adult learners. We cannot meet that particular goal that brings our, our state to the forefront and brings Floridians to a place where they have career mobility and improvements in, in the quality of their life for themselves and their family. Yeah, yeah, it's so critical. And that 60% goal really centers on the fact that we see it all the time, the nature of jobs are changing. And there are a lot of low wage jobs that are at risk of, um, you know, being replaced due to automation. And so that that extra credential gives people the opportunity to pivot and potentially shift their career as as jobs are changing. So such a great point. You know, that you talked earlier about how important partnerships were to the keys to the student success at Complete Florida. Can you share how strengthening partnerships with business and, and education has really been at the cornerstone in impacting adult learner success? Absolutely. It really makes a stronger difference when you partner with a, an organization, an employer, um, or other community entity that helps meet people where they are, helps extend our reach, and not only meet people where they are, but design programming that is more relevant to their needs. When you look at the state of Florida, all of our regions are so different. So when we collaborate with the Florida College Access Network, along with the 13 local college access networks throughout the state, then we're addressing regional needs of the state and the regional populations and communities and finding adequate support services, finding um, uh, workforce pathways that lead to in-demand jobs for their areas. So it's really important that not only we make sure that we're working in a relevant situation to meet the needs of each region of our state, but uh, you know we're we're also combining our work in a complementary way with a trusted source, whether it's an employer or a community organization or some other type of organizations throughout the state that focus on workforce and focus on a strong talent pipeline. So Michelle, can you give us an example of some of the partnerships and how you're working with local communities? Absolutely, and, and I have two really good examples that, that come to mind with local college access networks. The first is with Leap Tampa Bay. Uh, Leap Tampa Bay was recent, recently awarded a Talent Hub grant through the Lumina Foundation, and we have partnered with them to uh, adapt our coaching model to the regional needs of the Tampa Bay area. And through Complete Tampa Bay, we have three uh, colleges and universities, uh, Hillsborough Community College, St. Petersburg College, and University of South Florida, all working together to bring more people back and increase degree attainment and meet workforce needs in the region of Tampa Bay. Uh, the other example is through Achieve Escambia and extending our reach. We worked with local school districts to develop materials to uh, send out to parents as they are working with their children and trying to get them prepared to college. We're also inviting the parents to come back to college. And those are two really good examples of how we've extended our reach and aligned our work, which is very important throughout the state of Florida. Those are great examples. You know, what we have seen time and time again is when communities come together, the impact they can make for students is just so much greater than organizations working in silos. So thanks for those examples. Well, Michelle, the impact that you and your team at Complete Florida are having on adult lear learners is, you know, truly inspirational and and. It's thrilling to see that communities throughout the state and education and business partners are working with you to help realize the potential of all of our adult learners. So thank you again. And I'm so, we're so thrilled to honor you as a workforce education innovator. Thank you, Kathy. And thank you for the partnership we have with the Florida College Access Network. We are so thrilled with the collaborative efforts we've made together and we look forward to the Thank you.